I have done action. it a couple times. What? What? Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. This episode is brought to you by Sattva Mattress Company. Go to sattva.com slash the shit for $200 off. Hello, this is Captain Marcel. Yes. My sister yes. went down. Yes. Going down into the mountain. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, my God. To an episode of your mom's house. It's fucking I'm, morning. Hey. It's fucking morning. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and we're here, and we're queer, queer and we're ready to get it. used to it. So... <laughs> I miss Captain Marcel. She was one of my first TikTok she finds. She was an OG, yeah. Um, and she was like, my sister's trapped down the mountain. Yeah, I'm going to get her. Yeah, and then she okay, would. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then she'd be like, it's hot out today. Like the Waspas guy. Yeah, she'd be like, yeah. you must hydrate as well and eat your food, eat your spaghetti. Yeah. And you're like, that's really good advice. She's sweet. She's a sweet person. Um, I just got him. A woman a of the people. Um. Oh, by the way, remember on our way, I was like, "Oh, you remind me of that thing." I got to see if he responded. Yeah. He did not respond. Stop it! Do you wanna? Do you want to give a version of that story that we can uh, tell? That we can tell publicly. I mean, it's pretty astounding. It is pretty astonishing. Um, you know when somebody owes you? Yeah. And you go like, "Hey, what's up?" With the O. And then, you know, you gave it like a grace period. And then they don't respond. They don't respond. That's just you, one of those things that's happening right now where I'm like, you know, I'm not trying to, it's like, it's not like I can't continue. I can't pay my bills, but I'm like, hey, you do owe me. Yeah. Well, and I think the, the first insult is the, that that person didn't initiate contact at first. Like, yeah, no initiation. It's been three weeks since. Yeah. And you're like, you could have initiated like, hey, I'm aware yeah. Check is in the mail. Like, you know when you lie to people Some, and yeah, you're like, something. check's in the mail? Or at least a, my bad. Uh, yeah. Right, you gotta, do, you gotta do the act or something. Yeah, you always yeah. gotta at least be like, oh, it's coming, man. Like, you just, something to string them along. I, or, yeah. I'm you embarrassed know. that I haven't. You know, yeah. you Shylock. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, <laughs> <laughs> Your people invented this trick. Wow, I'm starting off hot today. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, man. <laughs> but yeah, um, like acknowledgement of like <laughs> he loves it. But yeah. look at him. I love you. I was gonna pull out my new glasses, but I'm gonna wait because Just because of that. Because you're such a good sport about us making fun of your heritage, and I really appreciate heritage. that. <laughs> yeah, you're Irish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Patio. Yeah. Cal I'm not a racist. Just because I say the N word in a video. Okay, so. <laughs> 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 I love when Eni shakes his head. Yeah. He's like, no. No. Nah. No. Nah. Yeah. Mommy. Yeah. So, oh Mom, yeah. Mom, Dad, I'm black. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Where the f is that Soul Man? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God, that's the best yeah. movie. That mm -hmm. is the fucking. It's so. It's. I like this movie growing up. I know you're not supposed to anymore, but he takes. He takes tanning pills. Yeah. That's the premise to get into Harvard. And he's like, what's up, my brother? <laughs> when he shows up to places and they're like, that guy's black as shit. Like, nobody can tell. <laughs> and they have a scene where there's a pickup basketball game and they're like, you. Yeah. <laughs> You're good. So good. You thought, you'd think that a movie like this couldn't be made now. And then that guy did make, a guy made a movie about, um, He's a radio host. Remember this? LaQuisha. I do remember. Oh, yeah. That was the wild. And here's the thing. The backlash was so immediate. Because, like, <laughs> the idea, you know, you go, you go, you couldn't make Soul Man now, obviously. Yeah. yeah. And then this guy's like, I made LaQuisha. And he put out the trailer for this. It was bad. I remember And the trailer was so wild. You couldn't find a trailer anymore. Who did this again? It was this, this dude. That guy. That's the guy that made it. <laughs> Is that trailer still playable? Because they, you couldn't find the trailer anymore. <laughs> it was so amazing. No, see if you could play it from there, because I had a play button on it. Like, can you play that? <laughs> it's like Tiptoes. It's one of those cool movies. Yeah, Tiptoes. But Tiptoes <laughs> also seems, it seems made up. This is real. <laughs> this is not an SNL sketch. No, I remember when this came out, and I was like, that's not even and funny. Like, it's not even well done. And he was doing radio, where he was like, You always seem to say the right thing to just the right person. What's your secret? I'm really just talking to myself. I don't charge for my advice. 
Well, you should, because it was amazing. I saw this, and I thought of you. You will be a hit in no time. Welcome to the Joe Show. I submitted myself to a radio station for my own show. Well, congratulations. They were rejected. Well, congratulations, Rex. You weren't right for your own show? Jason's gifted. You need to get the money for this school. 13000 a semester? <laughs> That's who needs their own show. If I was a black woman, I'd be perfect. <laughs> Also, you realize, like, how the fuck this gets made? I think he paid for it. That's how you get to make it. Like, yeah. Because yeah. everybody else will be like, yeah, I'm not going to fucking make it. And if you're like, I'll write the check. Like, All right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, part of me feels bad because what you want is for someone to independent film, written, produced, directed, and starring. Yeah. Jeremy. So the, it's wild that somebody involved wasn't like, You know what I mean? Like, yeah, no one would, told him his time. Like, if this were my idea, yeah, well, I would want at fix some it. point. How do we fix it? Well, at some point, I go, I want to do this. Just somebody in my circle of friends, family, like, work, pe- like, somebody would be like, just do it. Hey, man, this is going to be really Yeah, no one's going to like this. Just do a thing like Tom or Black where you just, like, get, the, get it out that way. Yeah. 100%. Have like a little bit on your show. You can make a whole movie about the, it. the thing that just, it just smacks of too many tropes. Yeah. Like the white guy that's like, like the trailer I mean, is if really I weren't a white guy, I could be successful. Like, first of right. all, that's so stupid. That's such a trope. And then the humor's not even good. No, the jokes are bad. Like, is there a, I don't know, like, he should have had Who at could least, make this? Well, he should have had. We're trying to fix it. The, the thing is that he should have. Taking the nut of the AI, like the, you know, the right, seed, the germ, yeah, yeah. and you go, okay, now I'm going to write with a black woman. Yeah. Oh, right? So then all, like, the, the jokes that are tired and repetitive and, and feel, oh, this joke's been done like a times, like the tropes and the, the yeah. all that gets washed out, and the story becomes a different story. But yeah. The problem is it's a white guy's version yeah. of like a black woman a saying, yeah. "Hell no!" Yeah. And then you're like, oh, uh, yeah. you know? Yeah, it's a white guy's version. Because even yeah, the movie, the, the movie yeah. Tootsie, where Dustin Hoffman played a woman, yeah. and it, it was, it was, a, it still her, is. But her pussy hurt in the whole movie. The whole thing, he's like, yeah. "My period." Yeah. Chicks are dumb. I got railed last yeah. night. But what was brilliant about this movie is that it didn't focus so much on the drag element, and yeah. it got into the nuances of what it was like to be a woman in the 80s. So there had to be a woman involved. I hope. I th- right? I, it was brilliant, and it's still good. I mean, look it's at the writers too. and producers. It's got to if it's If it's that well done, it's either an absolute genius yeah. of a man, which there are many because we're the smart ones, <laughs> or... <laughs> let's okay. See. Let's see. Um, Tootsie, it was, it's still good. It's a good script. Oh. But we don't know if we had women consulting behind. Oh, Ellie, Elaine May, uncredited. The film was adapted by Larry Gilmer, Barry Levinson, Elaine May. Yeah. Murray Shishkel. Well. You don't know, you don't know. But they did a good job of, of that. Yeah, this, this thing does, like, that trailer seems like it's it would so be. Bad. 
If that trailer was starring Duncan Trussell, you'd be like, this is the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen. You know what I mean? Because because you know what he's doing. That's how you feel. Um, but but you'd know it's a bit. You'd know it. Uh, you know he made a a trailer for a movie that doesn't exist. Part of this thing is like halfway you're, you're like, there's no one. I don't know. Like, this is this is he made this film. Okay, but then real talk. Yeah. How many dads out there? That's great. That's really great. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm sure my dad would dad be, 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 be like, have you seen this? Yeah. Seen this? <laughs> you know, black women really are. Like yeah. <laughs> I think my dad would, would like that. Like, so true. They're so loud. They're so. honest. They're loud. Okay. <laughs> you know what I had in my head the other day? Little big sassy clothes. Oh, Kevin Sassy 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 Yeah, he's a version of LaQuisha, right? Because he's straight up honest <laughs> advice yeah. from a sassy black man. Oh Rest gosh. in peace. I can't believe he died. I know. It's such a loss. The greatest thing, though, I mean, I, I'm, I am truly, I, I, I'm not uh, 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 glad. I mean, I, I, I like that dude that he's gone, is, but that he did die fucking. I mean, he was fucking yeah. sassy. And that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Rest in peace. All right. I love you, buddy. Here we go. Oh, oh, big sassy broad. Why would you teach your kids to go to school, work 40 hours a week for 80 years to pay off a mortgage for a girl that, that is just going to leave them and take their kids anyway? That's retarded. I'd rather my kids smoke dope, have fun, go fishing, fuck heaps of miles than that. Oh, that's ridiculous. Unbelievable. Entrepreneurial. That school's not entrepreneurial. It's fucking Girls for pussy. <laughs> Drop out of school. Drop out of school. And smoke weed. Go fishing and get pussy. It sounds yeah. right to me. That's what you. That's so. That's a dad. That's how we teach our kids. Yeah. That's what I want my boys to grow up like. You know. <laughs> I'm wondering, do I have a? So um, cool. Do I have? Um, I've had this cool new soundboard. Yeah. I wonder if I had a Kevin. Oh, you love pushy, don't you? How stoked are you to have a whole new set of buttons to push? I'm always, I love my buttons. He loves, he loves his buttons. He loves his buttons. I don't remember putting one in there, okay. so I don't think there's one. This is classic video, it's pretty, it's pretty rad, you know? It's pretty great. Just uh, having fun with it. Morning, Julia. The desperation is already in yeah. the Good morning, Julia. Um, this is what 
your dad would have been like if he had a boy. I, I was kind of thinking that. Like, it's, it's kind of true. My dad was like all about having fun and just getting to that vacation. And he let me just, you know, he worked really, really hard. He was just so hard. of brothers, okay? <laughs> they step on some IEDs. What happened? Yeah, sometimes you can't just, you can't cover everybody. You know? There's a lot of action. A lot of things going on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know. So, speaking of military. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, we talked a while ago about being in the military and trying to come to us on. Yeah. And the female came want to let you know where people have sex on navy ships. As a former sailor, I can confirm I was never as hot as when I was Maybe a five or a six in the real world. Once I stepped foot on the ship with all those horny seamen, I was a fucking ten. Though I was not someone who fucked multiple people on the ship, a boat hoe, if you will, I did meet my now husband there. And we did it wherever we could. There are lots of small spaces to meet up that have locks. And since we both had access to locked spaces, we did it in a variety of said locked spaces. Behind radars, in ammo rooms, top secret storage. I don't know where the dummies that didn't have security clearances did that, but it was for sure being done. Thanks for making such a great podcast to get me through my workday piss on you, Bruce Wayne. Can I tell you what this makes me realize? What's that? I should have gone straight into it. Yeah. In a boat hoe? Hell yeah, dog. Ugh. All these, like, hot, straight guys. They're all, like, in good shape. And she's right. If you're, like, a five or a six, bro, on a boat. No, it's yeah. true. I'm Marilyn Monroe walking around. They're, they're a five. Yeah. Yeah. And you're just, I mean, you're just a rag, though. Too, you know? That's cool. That's cool. I could do it for, can I do a gap year and maybe? Yeah. Like, Gap, a gap like, come year? A come year, yeah. yeah. Like, I get out of high school, mm -hmm. then, you know, 94 is when I graduated. Yeah. And I'm like, I just want to be the boat for a year. Yeah, I don't have to join. I don't have to join. They make you do, like, a lot of kind of day job. Just stack your body count. You just want to fuck those sailors. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody knows, too. That's the thing. Yeah, Everybody yeah. knows. They're like, that's the four right there. That's the Commander. Well, <laughs> here's the good news too, right? They're all like 18, right? 18, yeah. 19. It's yeah. the height of their sexual oh, yeah. prowess. So Ready imagine if I Yeah, because like, you know, a lot of bisexuals. 
gaze. It's just like the gaze of there. Wild to wild to kink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so especially with like the AIDS scare, I was always like, God damn it, you know? I'm always afraid of messing with dudes if they're with other dudes. That, that was a real threat back then. For sure. So I should have just gone into the Navy. You could have had the um you could have had the whole thing where you have a year of just really it's really sexually liberating, you know? I know. Would the Navy let me do a come year tour? Because don't, don't, like, once you're in the military, you're not, it's like they tell you how long you're there for. Don't you have to I do don't like think four they give years? you a year. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I, but what if I were to sign up as the, the come dog for the Navy for one year? And you're like, they, I volunteer. They, honestly, you're just going to surprise you. They frown I mean, upon that. What? But yeah, they don't actually celebrate that. Like my friend that I mean you know one of them. Um we went to her wedding. And she was such a hoe. And like, dude bro, like I see her shit on Instagram and I'm like, bitch, I know you. Like don't fucking pretend that you're getting married? You fucking smile. No, she's got like kids, you know. You said don't fucking smile? Yeah, because you're like how oh, many dicks smile. were in that mouth back in nineteen ninety-eight, ho? I lived with you, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like You know them in their youth, and that's like the core identity. Well, as the, as the kids say, those girls belong to the streets. <laughs> you belong have. to the night. Isn't there a song like that? You belong to the that's, city. That's, that's the first iteration of a girl that belongs to the streets, right there. Uh, yeah, it's, it's funny because, you know, the uh, truth, here's the thing about hoes, right? Yeah. Is that they're a necessary part of the ecosystem. Of course. God bless well, the hoes. They're a necessary part. But the truth is, the sadness, the other side of this, mm. is that no one really wants to be with a hoe. 